I'm not even balding, but I went on hymns, filled out a quick form, and within minutes, I was offered a full hair loss treatment plan with no request for labs, no phone call, and no real medical conversation with a provider, just a button to buy, and they would charge me if a doctor approved it. And from what I've seen online, and according to a Wall Street Journal article that I'll link to later, that did occur to one of the reporters who filled out the same form that I did, and within minutes, he was prescribed and shipped the medication. And that's when it hit me. This process is incredibly convenient but also a little too casual. You're one click away from getting a prescription drug that can change and alter your hormone, your mood, and even your sex life, all without ever actually speaking with someone, a medical provider, face-to-face. -face. So today, I wanna walk you through the real risks of finasteride, how it works, what companies aren't telling you, and what I found when I dug deeper Let's get into it. Quick disclaimer, I am not your doctor and this video is not medical advice. It's for informational purposes only, based on available research and real stories. You wanna make sure you always talk to a licensed healthcare provider before making any decisions about prescription medications and your health. What is finasteride? It is a prescription drug that was originally designed and approved to treat enlarged prostates under the name Proscar, but at lower doses, just one milligram, it's sold as Propatia to treat male pattern baldness, in other words, hair loss. It works by targeting a hormone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Finasteride works by blocking an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, which converts testosterone into DHT. DHT, as we've said, is a hormone that's responsible for shrinking hair follicles in men with genetic hair loss. So by lowering the DHT levels by as much as 60 to 70%, finasteride slows down or even reverses hair loss. But here's the thing, DHT isn't just about hair. It's also involved in sexual function, brain chemistry, energy, and mood. And that's where post-finasteride syndrome comes in. PFS is a condition where men experience severe long-term side effects even after stopping the drug. Things like low libido, erectile dysfunction, anxiety and depression, brain fog and insomnia, and even suicidal thoughts. Some researchers believe it is due to long-lasting disruptions in neurosteroid production and hormonal balance. In March of 2025, the Wall Street Journal published an investigation titled They Wanted a Quick Fix for Hair Loss. Instead, these young men got sick. It followed 17 young men like this guy described, his name is Mark, who suffered debilitating side effects after getting finasteride from hymns and keeps. No labs, no doctor visits, just a quick intake form like I did and he got a bottle in the mail. Mark's symptoms included slurred speech, extreme anxiety, genital shrinkage, and loss of libido. His doctor was able to confirm that it was due to the medication. Another patient in the Wall Street Journal was hospitalized with panic attacks after just one week of using the topical spray version of finasteride. Weeks later, the FDA issued a warning not for the pill, but for topical finasteride. Why? Because these topical sprays being sold by Hims, Keeps, and Roe are not FDA approved and yet they're being marketed all over social media with little to no mention of side effects. The FDA received reports of sexual dysfunction, anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts, fatigue, insomnia, and testicular pain. And while it's controversial, the FDA took it seriously enough to update finasteride's label in 2022 to include psychiatric risks like suicidal ideation. They even warned that women who came in contact with the spray could be at risk, especially if they are pregnant. Some consumers were told by their doctors that topical finasteride had no side effects at all. 
Spoiler alert, it absolutely does, as with any medication and treatment. So how are these companies getting away with this? It's simple. Telehealth companies like Hims, Keeps and Roll are not required to list side effects in ads, unlike pharmaceutical companies, because they are not considered pharma companies. That means that Hims can run a Super Bowl commercial for a drug with zero mention of sexual dysfunction, suicidal thoughts, or long-term hormonal disruptions. Former employees from Hims told the Wall Street Journal that any mention of side effects was seen as quote-unquote friction. They even stopped requiring patients to upload photos of their scalp just to make the process easier. It's a business model built around prescribing fast and scaling fast. And if that means minimizing the risks of these medication, then so be it. Look, finasteride isn't some evil drug. It works for some men and many tend to tolerate it just fine. But here's the problem. Informed consent has been replaced by convenience and companies that market to your insecurities while downplaying life-changing side effects, especially for young men, should not get a free pass for doing this sort of thing. So if you're considering taking finasteride, then please do your homework, talk to a real doctor in person, ask about alternatives, and then weigh the trade-offs because regrowing your hair shouldn't cost you your health and sexual function. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you or someone you know has experienced side effects from finasteride, drop your comments or share this video. This conversation needs to get louder so people are more aware of what's going on. And if you'd like this video, then I'm sure you'll enjoy watching this video I did right here on Ozempic and GLP-1s and whether you're losing fat or muscle and hint, it's not what you think it is.